Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Valerie and today we're going to talk budget. How much was it? 180. Before we get into the budget, I have a question to ask you guys. I have been reluctant to do a food video. I have no idea why. I think maybe they've just been done to their death. But <laughs> if you want to see one, comment yes or no below and I will go to one of the street markets and we'll show you what it's all about. Also, I wanted to thank my new subscribers. It's nice to see people liking my videos and subscribing because you want to see more. So, heart, thank you so much. Okay. So on to the budget and what it costs Jay and I to stay here in Thailand uh, on a monthly basis. Um, I want to share our fixed expenses, like our reoccurring monthly costs, like accommodations, our visa, and the, our phone costs, assurances, things like that. I also want to talk about our fluctuating costs, like groceries, travel, shopping, and yes, even Thai massages have their own category. All right, so what are our fixed expenses? Um, first, we have a special tourist visa and that's about $70 a person for three months. So Jay and I go to immigration every three months to renew our visas to stay. And um, we're allowed to do that up to two times. So we're hopefully going to stay eight or nine months and then move on. So I'm gonna break everything down into a monthly cost. So that for us is $47. Our Thai cell phone bill is $32 a month for the two of us. This is all our budget is for the two of us. Um, our insurance, we have insurance through Safety Wing. It was very easy to set up before we came to Thailand. And that's 140 baht, or er, $140 Canadian. And our Canadian insurance, we have life insurance back home, and that's $78 a month. Our cell phones from Canada, since we don't have our cell phones paid off yet, those I think are up in November, um, it's $134. So that's a huge expense for us that a lot of people may not have when they come and travel. So once that's up in November, that'll be a nice chunk of change to have. Our condo fees for here, um, where we're staying at the uh, D condo sign, is $304 a month. And our scooter rental is $93. So in total, that's $828 in total for our fixed expenses in Thailand. So our fluctuating expenses like groceries, food, shopping, foot massages, and taxis, things like that. Um, our groceries are about $325 a month. Food, our 7-Eleven um, trips, restaurants is about $385 a month. Shopping um, for clothes and home goods, like when we come to Chiang Mai or any new condo, we hit the uh, Mr. DIY and buy things that we think are more convenient for us to live in the condo. Little things like hooks on the back of the door, that kind of thing. So in total for the month of April, we spend about $323 on shopping clothes and like home things and like cleaning supplies as well. So foot massages are about $75 we spent Canadian um, for a, the month in April and our travel costs. So that's like park entry fees, gas for the scooter and taxi fees and that was about $155, so a total of $1,263. So you add those fixed expenses and the fluctuating expenses together, $1,263 and $828, you get $2,091 a month. So that's basically how much it costs us in the month of April to stay in Chiang Mai. And overall, Jay and I have pretty much stayed within that $2,000 Canadian budget. However, sometimes the budget might be blown out of the water like a drone crash or somebody stealing your phone. So yes, it is very possible to live in Thailand on $2,000 a month Canadian. And of course, you can do it cheaper, you can do it more expensive. We just find that this budget suits us for now. Um, we've been in Thailand for about five months and we've stayed pretty much within this budget so far. There you have it, our monthly budget in April in Chiang Mai. And don't forget to leave a comment yes or no below if you want me to do a food video. I'll go to one of the street markets here in Thailand and show you what it's all about. And last but not least, like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> also stay tuned for upcoming videos. Jay and I are gonna be doing some overnight trips and all the more reason to subscribe. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one, bye.